It's the You Name It podcast with me, Jerry Taylor, and my friend, Davin Christensen. Hola, Jerry. <laughs> hey, everybody. This is the show where you will learn all kinds of things that you had no idea you needed to know. Right. I think. <laughs> did you read I don't that, know. Did you read that link I sent you? Yes. <laughs> You're going to jump right into topic number one. First, I've got to say, sorry, Jimmy. Um, I think Jimmy work you know, because he plays in a band. He might understand what I'm going to say here. Uh, he sent a file, listener Jimmy. Yeah, and I wanted to play it, and I have it working for the record, but I can't get it to Davin. And I'm how not, that works, ladies and gentlemen? Go ahead. What, yeah, what's that? I'm not hearing it on my end when you send it. To yeah, me, and so. he's got to hear it. So what that means is that there's a thing called a send, an auxiliary send. And uh, for some reason, it's just not working for the computer tracks. We'll have to. So get I don't the, know, Jimmy. We'll have to get I the pod. Pod up my aux sends, and they don't seem to be working the same as the microphone does. We'll have to get a hold of the podcast engineer. No, we don't need it. We got to figure out. Well, I do have a board that's a hundred years old. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> but it's a mystery because the it's uh, the send is matching the settings on how this works is. My microphone goes to the recorder and to Davin, but Davin's phone, because that's how it's done. It goes to his phone, and then I have to do what they call a mix minus, so Davin's phone that goes to my through the board into my headphones doesn't go to the record, because then it would sound stupid. Right, because I'm just recording my end. You're recording your end. We're talking yeah. on the phone and sending it. Right, and, and the only you... control to get the the channel that I'm talking about over to Davin is to turn up a dial that says aux send two. It's one freaking <laughs> dial, Jerry. <laughs> and it doesn't work. Like the like channels, whatever this is, six and seven doesn't work the same as channel one. Yeah. Somehow. Uh, maybe. So I don't know. It's maybe the me board is just dead. It's dying. I don't, and that could very well be because it's so old. People don't want to hear about that, Davin. They want to hear about taints. T a i n t s. <laughs> taints. <laughs> yeah. And that's the topic Davin sent to me in a <laughs> text about an hour ago. Well, CES just happened, and this is. I was looking up some stuff and i saw this report from ces but it was from 2020 oh it was this is old yeah, yeah. and and ces for those who don't know is what is that the consumer electronic show right right all the latest and greatest technology that comes out and stuff that they want you to buy yeah this is something i don't know why i would buy but, <laughs> but anyway it was an old one did you look it up to see if it was Still being sold? No, I didn't. <laughs> well, it, why don't you why don't you tell the people what it is? Well, it's supposedly it's for erectile dysfunction. What kind of noise are you making over there? I'm trying to move my phone away from it because now I'm worried that everything's going to go haywire. <laughs> but so just, I slid my phone over. It, I heard that, Jerry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but that doesn't work the same way. I'm going to click and look it up while you tell them. What, did, what was it you just said? So it's like a, it's for erectile dysfunction for like people who ejaculate too soon. Yeah. Um, so it's like a Band-Aid that you're supposed to put on your taint. <laughs> you know what your taint is, right, Jerry? I do. Do the people know out there? <laughs> I don't know. It, it, taint, it taint ass and it, it taint balls. So it's that little... <laughs> That little patch <laughs> between your balls and your asshole. So you're supposed to put this elect this band-aid on there that has electrodes in it, and it hooks up to this phone app. And your partner's supposed to be able to when they feel like you're going to let loose, they can shock you. <laughs> what? It's supposed to be control like the control goes to the partner? Yeah, you hand hand the phone to the partner, or you can do it yourself if you think you're going to let go. <laughs> That's and, crazy. Yep. CES 2020, the Band-Aid for your taint. 
promises <laughs> to fix premature ejaculation. Uh, one use device your partner controls via an app and it might just work, it says. <laughs> and they have a picture here of the guy, the CEO, Jeff Bennett. And it says, the face of a man who's heard every premature ejaculation joke and politely laughed at all of them. <laughs> nice. And this is like a, this is CNET business. <laughs> I, cu- I can't tell if they brought it to market because this is from January of last year. And it says it should be sold by mid-2020. Or no, 2020 was two years ago now. But still, I don't see any listing for that. Yeah. (laughs) I can't tell what the... Oh, the company is Morari, whatever that means. Morari Medical. Well, I wonder if you could use it on the female genitalia as well and shock that. (laughs) I don't know. I'm sure everybody will try everything. (laughs) So they have, on their website, they have... They have it listed and everything, but I don't see any possibility to order it. It still looks like it's just advertising that it's going to be a thing. Oh, it's going to be a thing, all right. <laughs> yeah, so one last look before I abandon this. i got to scroll to the top to see if it says products. No, they don't even have a products link. Okay. Uh, it's a thing that's not a thing. No. There we go. But it's a good idea. <laughs> I don't know if it's a good idea. I guess you'd have to try it. I think it would hurt like hell. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like in some ways it might backfire on you. It might feel too good and encourage <laughs> premature ejaculation. This is great. <laughs> I'm just Who knows? Keep this on all day. Are you playing, yeah, a, are you all playing day. on your phone again? Hand your phone over to your workmates and stuff. You know? Shock me. Hey, whenever you feel feel like it, push this button. It'll shock my taint. (laughs) Yep. So, uh, didn't get the job I was looking at. And I wonder if it's because I told them I had a podcast and now they're listening to me talk like this. They probably looked it up. (laughs) No, I didn't say. You'd have to do a, a bunch of searching to find out. You'd have to go to my Facebook page if you can find it. I'm sure it would be too hard. But then scroll around and then... I don't normally post our shows on my page. Uh-huh. So if you do find one, I don't think I'm, I'm, I don't normally do the whole, look at my podcast. Right. I might put the link up there. So it wouldn't be super easy to find. Well, let me, let me just search Jerry Taylor under Google and see what happens. <laughs> Cause they what, know your name. Yeah. They know your name. Yeah. But there's a bunch of Jerry Taylors out there. Can you imagine that? Yeah, this guy, really good interview. I mean, we had a good time talking with this person. It's great. Hey, let's see what his podcast is. Poop is not food. (laughs) Wait, wait, let's search. Or the other one. What was that? (laughs) Ned Beatty, not just for raping anymore. (laughs) I don't know about hiring this guy. There might be something wrong with him. Uh (laughs) There's nothing wrong with him. Being able to have these wildly interesting conversations with Davin and, and <laughs> the audience doesn't demean my skill at Excel spreadsheets. <laughs> you know. Oh, Whatever. I'm looking at Jerry Taylor podcast, and yeah, I'm not finding us on there. Yeah, I mean, the only way that search would work is if it found Apple, because. I think that's the only one that my name had to be listed as. Yeah. Apple makes you put down the author. Were you born August 2nd, 1962? No. No, then that's not you. (laughs) See? I'm under the radar. Lord Jerry Taylor. (laughs) Yeah, I am a lord. Officially. A real royalty title. It's not even royalty title, though. Davin found a loophole. <laughs> Land ownership title in, in Ireland allows you to call yourself a lord, basically landlord, but it's the official thing that they would use back in those days. Yep. So he bought me, a, what, a square inch of property in Ireland? <laughs> I'm not even Irish, but I'm a lord there. What are you, Davin? Are you supposed to be Irish? 
Uh, Scandinavian or whatever. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> oh, isn't it? Is it Danish? Danish. Yep. Dutch. The Scandinavian descent. Yugoslavian. Yeah. You got one of those classic names from that region too, Christiansen. Yeah, but it's spelled wrong, <laughs> according to Bill. Yeah, well, what does Bill know? He doesn't even listen anymore. That's true. We could say, you're dumb, Bill, and he would never know it because he doesn't listen anymore. Yeah. He only listened for a while because we would talk about him and, and tell him, and then he would listen. Right. No, but he'd have to well, find it. I could be wrong. Seemed like for the first hundred episodes, he might have listened. <laughs> well, he doesn't have as long of a commute to work anymore, so... Oh, that's true. So I know he used to get mad sometimes when the show was uh, too long or too short because for the most part we had it worked out so we could, what was it, listen to half on the way and half and the other half on the way home? Right. Or maybe it was a full episode on the way in. Well, it probably was a full one on the way in. Yeah, and now he If it went to, long, then he'd be mad or something. He'd have to show up and sit in the car at work for an extra 20 minutes to finish it now. <laughs> Damn these guys. <clears throat> yeah, I just coughed and I didn't pot down my mic. See, ah. another professional way to do this, Jimmy Talby. So what did, What was Jimmy's message? Since Well, I don't want to wreck it because I want to try it again next episode after I change all of the configuration. In order to, to see if I can make this work, I'm going to have to change all of the channels and the way it's routed. And I don't want to do that. I didn't want to do it three minutes before the show started today. So, I really don't want to tell you. I can tell you this. He's not using his real voice. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of funny. I don't know. I wonder why. We'll have to ask him, like I'm doing right now. He's choosing to use some stereotypical southern voice. And is it just because he lives down there? Because he's from Michigan. Right. Or has his accent changed? No. No. No, it's, it's, nobody's no. accent changed into what he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Maybe uh, Looney Tunes or something. You know, because it sounds like a cartoon. The message is related to a topic that we had about uh, what was where Little Caesars was and, and the birthplace of different companies and such. But it's not only that. So we'll we'll have to do that. I mean, I, I really don't want to just play it loud in this room because it won't sound good. I'd rather have it be you sent, know, better sent, than what we do. <laughs> sent into my ears. <laughs> yeah, sent into your ears. Yeah, it sucks. Okay, speaking of uh, Southern or Cowboys, do you watch Yellowstone, David? I've seen a few episodes, but I never got into it because that's one of those networks that I can't get. Oh, have you heard how wildly popular it is? Yes, I have. <laughs> well, if somebody out there has not watched Yellowstone, I will give you two things to think about. One, it is super, really super good. The whole thing. One of the best shows ever. Okay. And it's just in the way that they write the show. It's not like there's an overwhelming amount of sex, violence, or action, or whatever that you can lay it on. It's just more about the storylines. But at the same time, you realize that Yellowstone is just the modern version of Dallas. Yes. <laughs> you know, do you remember Dallas from the 80s and everybody had to tune in every week to find out what the fuck was going on in Dallas? Yep. It's the same thing. It's just Dallas with swearing. And aren't they they're doing a spin-off on that 18 Yeah, they already started it. Okay. Called 1883. So they're doing a they're already doing a prequel to their to their popular show that's in only in its fourth season. But now they're doing they're going back in time to 1883 when the founder of the Yellowstone Ranch was a pioneer. And it's really good. God damn it, it's good. Okay, I'll have to You don't start want them to be good. You want to have something to bitch about, but you can't bitch about the Yellowstone stuff. I'll have to find find a app that I can play that on. Actually, you know what? Don't I tell do... people you're going to try and steal it. Why don't you just no. say you're going to subscribe to Paramount Plus or whatever? No. Actually, you know, Pluto TV, which is free, 
has yeah. channels that are dedicated to certain shows, and I believe that show might be on it. But it's not like you can pick and choose which episodes. No, you got to wait and see if it pops up. I thought when I looked at Pluto TV that mm-hmm. when I saw that they were act- weren't they actually doing them in order though? You don't know what season you're going to, but I thought they were doing them one after another. Yeah, I think they are. Cause they weren't doing like a Spotify shuffle. Well, actually, I think they do the shuffle thing with some of their other channels, though. Like, uh, Well, maybe like comedy shows or something. Well, some of the reality stuff. Um, like yeah. bar, They've got a bar rescue channel, and I don't think they're playing those in order. I mean, well, you don't need to, really. None yeah. of that stuff. There's no storyline that's going throughout him screaming at bar owners. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> <laughs> why do we like that so much? Ladies and gentlemen, why do we like to watch shows where one like it started with Hell's Kitchen where where the one guy just screams at everybody. That's what Bar Rescue is too. Yeah, have you well, have you seen his new show? I don't no, I didn't know about it. Uh it's Next Level Chef, I think it's called. Why is he a chef? I thought he was just a bar owner. No, no, I'm talking about um Gordon Ramsay. Oh, he's already had 400 different shows. Yeah, the guy must not- be worth you know, a half a billion dollars or something. Yeah, actually, it's on Wednesday nights, so it's just... I like his slot machine. <laughs> uh, the, on the MGM app, yeah. Yeah. That's that's where the marketing money is. Get on a slot machine. I don't know. I, w- I wonder how much they pay for rights to use your likeness and all that shit on a slot machine. Yeah. I can't I, imagine it being too much. But matter I would, of fact, I, I wonder how much maybe the people pay the slot machine company to have it done <laughs> for advertising. Yeah, usually those are the ones that don't win super big either. They don't have a big payoff because they've got to pay rights to a celebrity like Britney Spears or whoever's on the machine. I'm sure it's not related to how much money goes in and out of that machine. I'm sure it's just a licensing fee for a time frame. You know? Yeah. I can't imagine that. I get one cent out of every profit that <laughs> happens on the slot machine. Yeah. No, no that would be weird because then you should be able to take losses if it loses, too. That's true. They, uh, they are wildly popular, though, in the casinos. Yes, slot machines are. They always have been. The no, I mean yeah. the ones that are based on TV shows, you jackass. <laughs> <laughs> Do they have one for jackass, you think? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it shocks your teeth <laughs> if you Let me win. See. <laughs> Gotta look that up right now. Jackass slot machine. <laughs> it's gonna say play play poker, idiot. Better odds. Uh, it doesn't look like there's a real one. Um, but it does look like there's one. There's one in Japan called Jackass Team. <laughs> oh, okay. So it's probably like a uh, ripoff or something of it. And it looks like anime anyway. Uh, jackass slot machine. They have a new They have a new movie coming out. Oh, new Jackass movie. Yeah, Jackass 4. Okay. It won't have that one guy in it, Bam Margera. Is that yeah, how you say his name? Didn't He passed away, didn't he? Did he die? I thought he was just being shunned by the rest of the guys. Now we got to look that up for the people. Margera dead with a question mark TMZ reported that uh, he died on Saturday morning let me see this was a while back though no that's his dad that died oh okay Vincent died at 59 years of age yeah, I don't think he's. Uh, I don't think he's dead. I think they just threw him out because he was crazy, yeah. like all of, drugged up and impossible to deal with. Yeah. Well, the way this year's going, I just meant we just mentioned him, so maybe he will. <laughs> oh yeah, we got we got to wor- worry about who we're talking about. <laughs> you start talking about somebody, they end up dead the next day. That sucks. It's nice to have this power, but you have to use it for the good of humanity, not. <laughs> <laughs> talk about somebody and they die the next day that's just not a good power 
Listener Adam Christ sent uh, a message in the Gmail, which is you name it podcast at gmail.com. Okay, is this someone that we know or is this a random listener? Oh, just listener? say listener. It makes us sound cooler. It doesn't okay. matter if you know him or not. <laughs> it's, it's one of your relatives. <laughs> All right, it's a relative. But he, uh, he listens. Okay. So uh, he just sent a, let me see if I can get there real quick. Are you kidding me? No, I can't get to that. Don't you love it when Google locks you out of your own shit? I can open up. So my kids will use my computer to, to like uh, open their Gmail and print shit or whatever it is. Mm-hmm. Their accounts are right on there. But my, <laughs> you name it, account isn't on my stupid Google manage page. <laughs> How dumb is that? Like I got to get it on my phone. doesn't matter. There wasn't really anything that we can do with it. But he sent the message, and it was regarding, I think, a joke that you made, Davin, about uh, a Christmas album from, what was the name of the band? Guar. (laughs) Guar. Yeah. What are you doing over there? I hear a lot of noise. I'm scratching my head. Stop it. (laughs) (laughs) All the shit I've done wrong today, I'm going to yell at you. What are you doing? Scratching my head. So he, he's uh, his Gmail said that I had to see if it was true, and it is. And he yes. linked the Guar Christmas album. They've got <laughs> they've got two Christmas albums, actually. I think they have two. How would you know that? I can't imagine that you've ever sat and listened to Guar. Well, hang on. I looked it up because we were talking about it, and I think there's. Well, there was uh, some YouTube videos as well. Yeah, that's what he linked with some video. Guar Chris, C H R I S, blah, 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 album. Just to see. Guar. Guar Christmas from 2010. The Guar plus Mutoid Man performs Stab into Christmas. Stab into Christmas. Guar stripper Christmas, Christmas summer, summer weekend. weekend. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh well, it's nice that they're celebrating Christmas. Yep. A nice wholesome band like Guar. That's I wonder where Guar. At. I wonder where that name came from. Maybe somebody out there who knows about them can send us where their name came from to you name it podcast at gmail dot com. Well, this is curious because I started to look up Guar Christmas album and the second. Search was Jerry Springer. So let's see. Oh, they probably played on his show. Yeah, let's see what it says. What are you looking that up on? Oh, because if, <laughs> it if is. You're using your computer you're recording with. I'm worried about you. <laughs> yeah. All of a sudden, it'll be like. Oh, yeah. All through. February 6th, uh, 2009. It was uploaded to YouTube. Guar it, just sounds like a noise. Guar on sound like Jerry a name Springer. It sounds like some noise that someone makes when they're throwing up or something. Guar! They're angry. Did they don't do the death sounding? They don't do the Cookie Monster, do they? I don't know. Cookie Cookie Death Cookie Cookie Death. Angry Cookie Death. <laughs> cookie, cookie, death. <laughs> angry cookie, death. <laughs> That's so much fun to do. But I'm sure the audience is going, what the fuck? The fuck are these guys talking about? <laughs> yeah, what is that? That death metal singers all sound like Cookie Monster in a way. You have your different styles of scary singers that we've talked about through the years. you got the Dave Mustaine with trying to have a freaky voice. Hello, me, it's me again. <laughs> that kind of thing. <laughs> That's not scary. Shut up, Dave. You're not scaring me with your dumb... Attempt at a scary voice. Then you have the death metal guys who just sound like Cookie Monster. <laughs> They're just gonna kill you, Big Bird. <laughs> big gonna bird. kill you, Big Bird. <laughs> cookie, cookie, Big Bird, cookie, kill Big Bird. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, I wish I smoked weed. <laughs> <laughs> I do too. I wish I smoked weed. <clears throat> I feel like uh, I just get mad because I never like it. I, yeah. mean, I always keep trying every year or so. doesn't work out. Just don't like it. I should just, you know, come to terms with it. <laughs> I need a drug that I like. 
Do you have any suggestions, David? Not off a of hand. <laughs> no. But there, I mean, there's not a whole lot of things out there that you can casually take, you know, you, without fear of. Because the weed thing, there's really not much of a fear that someone's going to get addicted to it. Right. Because first of all, I, that doesn't happen. You don't have physical addiction to it. Second, it's so harmless that it's not like you're going to get too high and and whatever. You're not, not going to attack people when you're too high. It's not like an acid trip. No, you don't freak out and jump off buildings and stuff. Although, we need a larger uh, array of drugs we can all try. Although being high around you would be fun, though, I think. Why? You know what I'm like in real life. It's not that much fun at all. I know, but just looking over at that ugly mug, seeing, seeing you do the cookie monster. <laughs> cookie, cookie. <laughs> cookie, cookie. <laughs> it is stupid. That uh, actually came from my friend Walt in Arizona, who told me that. that <laughs> death metal sounds like Cookie Monster. But I wanted to tell you something, Davin. Okay. Because you talk to people who live in different climates, like Arizona is a desert, or talk about Florida, where it's uh, is... tropical blah, blah, right? Yeah. <laughs> and they all look at you like, what the fuck you doing in Michigan? That place fucking sucks. And... Uh, <laughs> And it does because you got you know, winter <laughs> stuff. Where but are you going not, with this? <laughs> well, I figured out like all those people who live in those places talk about how great it is compared to Michigan, but I actually figured it out that, uh, let's see, Arizona from June through September is hell. Probably just like Florida, where it's just a million degrees, but Arizona is 128 degrees. <laughs> right. If you like that. Michigan. You really only have about January through March. So that's like three months. And then if you want to be real about it, you can add in July and August for it being too hot in Michigan. So it's about four to five months of shit weather in Michigan. And it's about four to five months of shit weather in those places, too. Right. So don't get on your high Arizona and Florida horses. We know what it's like there, too. When the only time you can be outside is walking to your air-conditioned car real fast before you die. Hmm. Those are places people die, Davin. Yeah. In the old days, people didn't hang around in the desert and want to live there because they die. <laughs> so <laughs> People just wanted to live there now. Look at the beautiful dirt and the mountain in front of it. It's great. There was a study and i can't find it now and it was um it was the day that's the worst in every state weather wise no oh. a big like spreadsheet thing of the whole and this all, is the worst day of the year for and, your area and ours was uh two was was it yes was it yesterday or the day before it was whatever day it was 6 degrees <laughs> But they're just saying on average, right? Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. But like Although, Ohio, a lot of times I feel like March ends up being shittier than January. But like Ohio and Illinois, I think the worst day was Valentine's Day. Yeah. So. <laughs> for, Is there a point there you're trying to make? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Worst day of the year is Valentine's Day. Let me go to the You Name It podcast Facebook page. Okay. Because we can look at the comments here. Adam, the one we talked about on uh, episode 197, Poop is Not Food, he commented, uh, I gave you a five-star review on Spotify. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I said, thanks. Sarah, who is my niece whose husband is Don that we talked about last episode with the shoes at the wedding. Uh-huh. She said, or she tagged him and said, this is your episode. And then she wrote, I don't think the shoes would have looked too out of place if we had remembered to wash them first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. And then she says that Don's checking out Alan's shoes 
so he, she has to go on a quest to find those shoes like Alan's now for Don. Okay, well, that's more than we need to know. More than the people need to know. I know, but the people don't give a shit. But Don wore work boots, basically, to a wedding and was concerned about it till I told him no one's looking at his feet. Only girls. But she does have a point, though. Maybe they should have washed them, dusted them <laughs> off or something. They have brick dust all over them. <laughs> Oh, uh, was he in a suit as well? Yeah. No, he looked good because he had the stylish jacket and everything on it. I think got... it worked, really. I think he just looked like a, a musician or something like that. You know. You got no topics, David? No, but I was just looking on the thrill list, and they would have they list the worst uh, weather <laughs> by state. The thrill list? Yeah. Wonder what that is. Uh, it looks <laughs> like uh, a website that just does list of shit. <laughs> so uh, right It'd be now, funny if there is a website called Lists of Shit. <laughs> Michigan is ranked the third worst. Minnesota, in terms of what weather in general? Yeah, really, states uh. with the worst winters. Oh, um, if it's just states with the worst winters. Yeah, but, I can see that. But this is not correct. This is because they've got North Dakota is number one. Minnesota is number two. Michigan is number three. Yeah. And then South Dakota is number four. We're not as bad as South Dakota. I don't know. Maybe it's warmer in the South for Dakotas. It's going off know. at average high temperatures and huh. snowfall is probably a big deal. Yeah. Wisconsin's on there. Obviously, it's sort of hard to. It's hard for me to believe that Alaska wouldn't be worse. But yeah. maybe they have that whole like West Coast vibe thing going. Where Alaska's they're... number thirteen. Yeah, weird. Because I always I grew up being stupid, and I always thought yeah. places like Washington State and Seattle and stuff. I always thought, oh, they must really suck in the winter because they're higher north than we are, whatever the fuck you want to call it. And it turns out, no, they're really nice. They're moderately temperatured. Like, Seattle is beautiful. <laughs> no no freezing temperatures ever. Yep. No piles of snow. So I'm wondering if this means you, you should pick something in the middle. Rankings. I think it's tough because you get too far south and it turns balmy. Yeah. It turns into Louisiana and Florida. Well, because like in the 30s, number 30s, Kentucky, number 31s, Maryland. And then Virginia's 32. Those would be No, I, I think you want to go with uh, West Coast or Southern East Coast. Yeah. Well, Arizona's number 48, Florida's number 49, and Hawaii's number 50. Well, yeah, for worst winters. Yeah. That's because that's when they have glorious weather. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Look for worst summers. Do they have worst summers? Oh, it would probably be Walt's Warehouse. Arizona. <laughs> <laughs> Walt's it Warehouse show, in Arizona. <laughs> I think it just, it just shows a picture of Walt's house. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> so what else you got, right. Jerry? I have one last thing. Because okay. so far we've actually gotten through almost the whole episode. Without any topics. <laughs> Without any topics. <laughs> but uh, I had something written down. Because it, as always, the medical world pisses me off. Okay. The whole way that we run all of these things. And part of it goes to this whole deal where, like, depending on the kind of insurance you have, they look at you weird yeah. or whatever. But um, I think the, the main thing that's starting to piss me off is that they don't treat patients as customers. They treat them as as though they're better than them and that uh, it, like somebody else is paying for it. Right. Do you know what I mean? They treat you like, well, I could treat you like shit because you're not paying for this because insurance is. But the thing is, who the fuck is paying for the insurance, assholes? That's true. It's, it's our working labor that pays for, it doesn't matter if the company pays for part of it and you pay for part of it. You you exist, and that's why there's money going to the insurance company. So it's still your fucking money. 
as right. the patient. And they should never treat it like it's the insurance company as a whole separate idea. It should be like any other business where you're going in to give them money, whether it comes directly from you or indirectly from you, it's still coming from you, <laughs> you know? Stupid doctors. I wonder if they... anymore, I feel like you're in a mill. Like if you go to the eye doctor and they have you sit in a room with 50 people and they run you through as fast as they possibly can. Right. You know? Well, I'm, I'm sure it's like when I was a contractor, there's certain companies you work for or have to deal with that aren't as liked as far as their billing practices and stuff like that. And it's probably the same with insurances. This insurance company is more of a hassle to get paid. It takes longer to get paid, that type of thing. No, I get that. I'm not. Uh, no, I agree with them about that. Doctors having to fight with insurance companies. I just disagree about the part that it's not Davin's money. Right. Like he could treat you like, well, yeah, you know, it's not coming from you anyway. You're just some guy. Yeah. Unless. No, it's coming right out of your fucking pocket, Davin. Unless your deductible is so fucking high that it all comes out of your pocket. Yeah, but they don't treat it that way either. Yeah. They, I feel like all the doctors and dentists and eye doctors treat you as a way to get the insurance money, not as a customer that they have to treat well so you'll come back and use them more. They feel like you're trapped and it's not your money anyway. Yeah. It, well, it goes back to my dentist or my hygienist wanting me to get my teeth clean. Well, some people like to pay out of pocket. Bullshit. <laughs> Maybe some people do. <laughs> I didn't even teeth cleaned. But yeah. get, better rush in there and get it done. Can't do it myself. Yeah. Well, insurance only covers twice a year, and I'm not going every three three months. Sorry, lady. No, and you probably only need to go twice a year. Some people don't go to the dentist at all. Until I know, and then they brag hurts. about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they brag about it, and you step back because their breath is bad. <laughs> I've heard people in the last couple of months say, I haven't been to the dentist in 10 years. Like, all right, well. <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> Another five years. Welcome to my world. Yep. You'll be losing all your teeth. That's right. Getting ripped out Getting of your head. Getting all pissed off about that. <laughs> Jimmy, I'm sorry, man. Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to see see if we can get it working uh, next episode. Oh, it's going to work regardless. If I have to hold a little speaker up to my microphone, we'll do it. <laughs> It doesn't, but I, I want to at least te attempt to do it the right way. So let's do this. Send us another one too, Jim. You can send us anything. You can send us a, a clip of your band playing if you want, if we have rights to do that. <laughs> That'd work. Anything you want. You could you could do like what our old workmate Josh used to do and send us uh, recordings of his farts. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you can do that if you want. <laughs> and you put that montage together. Yeah, and he, so... Uh, Whatever you want to do, whatever you want to say. And if you have any questions that you'd like to have the audience consider and us to postulate about, ask a question. Yep. <laughs> you watch, I'm just asking for, I'm asking for it. You know what I mean? You asked for it. It's going to be something stupid. <laughs> like A barrage of <laughs> Oh, just, stuff. just making fun of me is what it'll end up being. <laughs> yeah, you got to get that soundboard working again, too. Yeah. Science! That's right. For the tech heads out there, I opened up the soundboard. Didn't do anything to the file structures at all, but all of the files are unlinked. So <laughs> I'm going to go through anymore. every single one and manually relink these files to the buttons. Stupid. Well, 2022 was supposed to be better, Jerry. I don't know. <laughs> we're only 12 days into it. I know. And we're already fucked. Means I only have another, you know, sixteen or seventeen days until rent's due again. <laughs> That's the way you look at it's it. It's tough when you're not working. That's right, people. Keep offer me a job too, would you? <laughs> I'm still waiting on that call from Sirius XM to put us on, Gavin. Yeah, that's not going to happen anytime oh, soon. Oh no, it's not going to happen. <laughs> but I'm telling you what, they could afford us. Yeah, they could. <laughs> yep, and it's not because we're, we're, we're not cheap. because they have so much money. It's because we're Basically worthless. It'd be like seven dollars. Sure, we'll take it. How seven dollars an episode. 
Give us some commercials to talk about. <laughs> Just enough to pay for the electricity during the show recording. <laughs> and the Scotch. I wonder if I should get this off my list because it's old. There was a Kenny G documentary. We didn't talk about that, right? I don't think so. I went through this whole Kenny G document. I enjoyed the documentary. And it was a, sort of a big deal. It wasn't like just some stupid thing on Amazon Prime that nobody watched. This was on, I, I forgot if it was on Netflix or HBO or one of those. They were doing like a series of music documentaries with different people. And he was one of them, I think. <clears throat> but I spent the whole time, I couldn't figure out if I liked him or hated him the whole time <laughs> I was watching it. But there was one stupid thing that he was doing was he, he spent his Basically, his uh, ideology for his career was that he's not trying to make anybody happy but himself. Okay. But they have these segments where he's talking to the interview people, like almost like outtakes. Okay. And, he's, and he starts doing this, uh, should I do that again? Did it look right? Did I sound right? And he was, they show him doing that. And that really blows up his whole thing because obviously he does give a fuck about what people think. Right. <laughs> if you're worried about that. He wants his persona to be out there. Yeah, and I think what I've learned from the Kenny G documentary is uh, he's a great marketing guy. And uh, that's why he had a career that was so well. I mean, obviously a great musician, too. But all the jazz people hate him. You know, like the real <laughs> jazz people. But he's not real jazz. He never said he was. Yeah. Let's see what I wrote here. Uh, he's just making music that he likes, but for some reason I get the impression that he's he's a marketing machine. He was worried about all aspects of the interview, the clothes he was wearing, how he was doing. He said, he, that's right, he said, I'll sit here all for 12 hours if I can make it better. Oh. And, uh, and I wrote, if you're really not concerned about acceptance of the masses, you wouldn't care about that stuff. So that was the show note for Kenny G. So I don't know. I don't know if I like him or hate him. Oh. <sighs> weird you have to watch that and decide whether you hate him or like him i was just thinking about putting a taint zapper on kenny g and see how he likes it yeah <laughs> how's that there kenny g <laughs> playing your saxophone style thing what was it he played he he did play saxophone but the thing that he was most known for is not a, a saxophone i don't think it's uh, like the straight it's like a, I don't know what they call it, tenor saxophone or something? Clarinet. Let me see what, thing. no, it's not a clarinet. Flute. What does Kenny G play? Soprano saxophone. So it doesn't have the little curve in it. It's just, it looks like a clarinet. Okay. But it's a saxophone. A saxophone. Didn't you play a, a clarinet or something, Dan? No, uh, I played saxophone, but I I played alto. Saxophone. Alto. alto. Right. That was in high school. Yeah, were you cool at Kenny G? Uh, no, by no means. <laughs> Do you think if you had a saxophone in the room with you right now that you'd be able to play anything? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Just completely forgot it, right? <laughs> yep. How many years were you a saxophonist? Uh, all through high school. So four years. Yep. Were you in the marching band? Yep. Yeah. Me too. I did not play the saxophone, though. No. I and played you, a horn called the baritone. And you see where that got us. <laughs> yes, I'm not a famous baritonist. Nope. <laughs> no, I just blather on about poop and stuff like that just <laughs> to see if anybody will listen. Every week. <laughs> I don't is, know what to call this one. I guess we'll find out. This is what my life has become. <laughs> Maybe that's the title. Episode 190, what is it, 198 or something like that? This is what my life has become. <laughs> just all dreary. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. Maybe I'll just write, Cookie, cookie, big bird dad, kill big bird, cookie, cookie. <laughs> <laughs> all right, everybody. That's enough. We're actually over time now, somehow. I don't know how that happened. Yeah. Uh, okay, Jerry, until next time, pop a wheelie. Yeah. I stepped on you. <laughs> you always got to be a clean... Wait, before you do it, 
Everybody remember, you name it, podcast at gmail.com. Send some stuff. I'll check it. Pop a wheelie, guys.